Hi guys, welcome to the Duck Blind. Um, today we are going to do a quick little tutorial of how to start a city in City Skylines. Um, as some of you guys know, I love City Skylines. It is my favorite game out of every game that's out there. So um, a lot of people have asked me to just do a little tutorial of how to start a city and what are the best tricks to um, for for your city um, early on in order to a, a really big thriving city. So this one that I've started, I've started a generic map. This one's called the Diamond Coast. So um, you were always going to start off with a map that um, shows you, it starts off with and on an intersection or a highway. So you're only ever going to get um, one lane, one road to start with, not even the dirt roads. So there are dirt roads in here. So the first thing that I do is I connect these two. So right in the beginning, you want to make sure that you actually don't spend a lot of money because um, you're going to hemorrhage money fairly quickly. So I don't I don't go too, too far out. I don't start building too far out. Um, and then I start zoning stuff. Well, I, I start deciding where I'm going to put stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure you always want to make sure that you have your indus your industry area close to the highway. You want to make sure that it's not traveling through town. Have it close to the highway so um, later on in the game, whenever we start to start buying different parts of land, we can buy this right here and connect my industry straight to the highway so they're not even using this regular main highway. Another thing that I always do is I try to make sure that I keep a decent amount of space between my highway and where I'm going to make stuff. So that way I have enough road from here to here that if I need to expand my highway later on, I have enough room and I'm not destroying a bunch of buildings. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to notice down below at the bottom here, you, they're not unlocked at the moment right now. Nothing's unlocked at the moment. So your green is always going to be um, your residential. And then the next one that's going to pop up is going to be um, commercial, so it's blue. And then your industry is always going to be yellow. So your industry, like any other industry, is going to make a lot of pollution. You want to make sure that your city is pollution free as soon as you start off or as little pollution as you can possibly have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chunk, I'm going to save this big chunk right here for industry. And right over here, I'm going to make this all residential because it is close to the water. So um, I've made those two roads. I'm going to make these connect. So it's like almost a little subdivision. So this will be my industry. Uh, and then over here, I'm going to make it go out a little bit further. I'm going to make this a little subdivision. So I made these two markers to show that I shouldn't go beyond those spots uh, before I start building my highways. You don't have to do it that way. This is the way I do it. So those are your basic. This is, this is how you basically start it down. Next things next is you always need water and you always need electricity. So every time you pop open this electricity panel, this... This little, this little, sorry, every time you pop open the water panel, the electricity panel, these little panels up to this left hand side will, will open up. So this is showing me that I have no water available and no surge sewage treatment available. So, you know, what goes in must come out. So we need to have water in and pump, pumping in and pumping out. So um, you always want to have it on water, obviously. And if you look, you can see all these little arrows. This is the way the down, the, the stream is going. So it's going downstream. So you always want to pump your water in clean water. So this is my water pump. And then you want to drain it all right downstream. So this is as far as I can possibly get them apart. Then you're going to take this little pipe and you're going to connect them. So if you see this blue little bubble right here, everything within that blue bubble will be covered by my sewage treatment. So what I want to do is I want to continue this all the way down. And then I want to continue it all the way to my, my industry as well. So in the meantime, I'm going to start doing tiny little, tiny little bubbles. Sometimes I'll have them overlap. I don't have to worry about things, but you can see that those, those are pretty damn close. I'm going to pull this out a little bit more just so everything's covered. Nope. Okay, so that's all my piping. Like I said, anywhere that it's blue, Anywhere that's blue right here, that's going to show that's where my piping is, is going to overlap. Next thing's next, I need power. So just like, the elect just like the plumbing, you're going to have little blue spots. So this is showing me that there is a little bit of electricity there, but there's not much. So when I click on the wind, the wind 
or the electricity panel. This is going to be a, the cheapest thing is a wind, wind turbine. So whenever I click on the wind turbine, you're going to see a, it's going to be a different type of uh, map right here. So you're going to see dark spots and white spots. The dark spots is where you're going to get the most electricity. So if you look right here, this is going to say it's going to give me eight megawatts. If I go over here, it's going to give me six megawatts. So I'm going to try and connect it as close as I can to my pumps, my water pumps. There you go. I'm going to give them each one. And then I'm going to connect them with the power line down here, this little power line. So you can connect two blue, two blue spots, so two electricity hotspots, to each other by these little power, power lines. So you don't need to connect them completely. As long as it's sitting in one blue spot, you can get it to another blue spot. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put it all the way over here right behind. So these little squares, this is going to be your little grid of where your houses are going to be. So give me one second, guys. I'm going to bring this all the way over here. Bring this all the way over here to my industry. So it doesn't need to be overlapping. It just needs to make sure that it can get to the grids or to the, the you got to make sure that it can get to these little, these little grids right here. So first things first, it wants me to zone housing. So I'm just going to click on the different housing zones. So you guys can see um, there's, it's wanting to fill all this in. You can do it a bunch of different ways. Uh, if you look at these little panels right here, this is going to be a paint bucket, so it's going to fill everything. It's going to fill everything around it, okay? Then you got this little square bubble. This little square. It's literally going to do one square at a time. You can drag it so you don't. You can zone certain things. Um, you can also do it by a small paintbrush. Or you can do a large paintbrush. So I'm going to leave that all residential. And then I'm going to go ahead and press play. And I'm going to watch everybody come in. So this is how you get a basic map. So right now it's showing me that the only thing that's in high demand is residential. So let's just watch people move in. We're going to watch people move in. They slowly will. And you're going to start to see little, um, little brown spots. There you go. See the different colored spots. Those are people moving in. So let's fast forward this a little bit. Get some people in. Get some people in. Um, a fun little thing is, is you can also change the names. You can also change the names. So you can do this like, uh, let's call it Kendra Street. A um, bunch of different things. Priority roads, not priority roads. It shows you a bunch of different stuff. Toggle traffic routes. There's a bunch of different stuff that you can do from just that, um, that little panel. So as you can see, people are starting to move in. Um, people are starting to move in and... My residential demand is going down, but everything else is going up. So I'm going to go back over to the zoning panel. There's only three different zones at this moment. Low residential, low commercial, residential, low commercial zone, and a industrial zone. Oh, look it. So you're going to see these little things pop up, and they're, like, they're going to be little icons above the houses. It's going to tell you what is wrong with the houses. So this is pretty easy. If you just click on it, you can tell... There's a little icon that says no water. If you click on the houses, if you're ever curious, it's going to show you what you need. So I am going to take the pipe and I'm going to click on anywhere along any one of the other pipes. I'm just going to drag it over. There you go. And you'll see. There you go. Now they're happy. Now they're happy, guys. Okay. Next thing's next. I'm going to give them some jobs. They need some jobs. So I'm going to go over here where I've decided to zone this as um, commercial. And we're just going to watch the people just like fly, flocking in. We're going to watch them flock in. Come on, flock in. I don't think it's going to happen. See, so now that you can see, see, I didn't have those, these, I didn't have these power lines directly on top of, of housing. I just had a close by. If it's close by, you're going to start to see that your electricity will start to duplicate. So now that I, ha I have this all zoned as well, you're going to see that people are like, hey, there's electricity nearby. Let's start, let's start building here. So you're going to see that everything's going to start to slowly expand. See? Something just slowly expanded because it's like, hey, we have electricity nearby. So you do want to pay attention to that you have um, enough electricity. So you can see that the, at the top left-hand corner, this is how much it's producing, 14 mega, 50 megawatts. We're only using 4 to 5 megawatts. 
So that's good news. So let's go over here. It's also telling me that I, ha I need commercial. I need some stores. They're like, we need some stores, guys. Bring me some stores. So let's put some stores right here. Here. Look at all those people coming in waiting to... Actually, let's not do that, guys. We decided this is going to be our, our line. But I can't... I don't really want to um, develop from here to here just in case I need this for highways and roundabouts and, and off ramps and stuff. So it doesn't look like we need any more housing, but we do need some more commercial. So in that case, I'm going to pull this road out. I shouldn't have done this, but everything's fine. Everything's fine. Um, I was afraid that I was going to get rid of these houses. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to zone this. Zone this for commercial use. And then I'm also going to get rid of this. And it's going to... So... If you guys noticed, um, I wasn't able to zone this little part because there was a power line right there. So I just got rid of it. But because I have each one of my sections is connected and I have this power line in the middle of this little blue electricity panel, it's going to connect all my electricity over. So eventually you can start deleting all of your uh, power lines. You can slowly start deleting all your power lines. So um, one thing you want to keep an eye on is... Um, making sure that you have enough electricity, which is okay, and you have enough water. So we can see that this is how much we're, we're using, this is how much we have, the capacity that we have and vice versa. Sewage can pump out this much and this is how much we have um, for uh, sewage capacity. So here we go, there's another one. I don't have any water right there, so I'm gonna connect this. And then I'm also going to connect this a little bit further down because I'm going to start to um, I'm going to start to bring this out this whole subdivision. So the less intersections you have, the better. So right now, what I'm going to do, let's delete this. So if you need to delete anything, guys, there's a little bulldozer at the bottom right there. Pick that up. So the less intersections you have, the better. So what I usually do is I usually make one road a main road. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, this is gonna be, I'm do that way, I'm do it this way. So this is gonna be my main road right here. In the future, I'm gonna actually upgrade this to a more, more of a lane highway, more lanes. So as you can see, there's one intersection right there and there's one intersection right there. I'm gonna make an intersection off of this one and, and stop it right there, because I, I I don't want all these intersections to all of these um, little suburbias. So I'm just going to keep bringing this down, 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 down. This is going to be one big subdivision. If you want, you can connect it again. So I'm only going to connect it to this one road because I want this road right here to be my main road with a lot less intersections. Let's do that. The only downside of this is whenever you go to put some um, schooling in or hospitals or police services or stuff like that, they're gonna, it's probably not going to be able to cover as many areas because you don't have it as many roads. So let's uh, pull this forward a little bit. And I am literally going to make all of this in here. Make all of this residential. And then on this side, since it's going to be a busy street, I'm going to make these shops. Make them shops. Let's do that. There's some shops. We don't need that many shops right now, but. So you can see everyone's starting to move in. Everyone's starting to move in. We've also got some stuff over here that looks like there's a little bit more of a demand. Not by much, but we're going to pull some out anyways. So I think that this is going to be a main road that goes all the way across. So I'm not going to try and have too many um, intersections. Okay, so we made it to uh, our first 500 people, which is really, really, really good. Um, there's some really great stuff in here. Um, this is where you really want to pay attention. So if you've got past this part, good job, guys. So taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, and education. So the first thing that I suggest doing is your taxes. You can raise your taxes in up to 12% before your people start to get mad. So what you want to do is you want to go into your tax. So you want to go down here into your economy, the little... Uh, little paper stack click on that go to taxes you want to raise that to 12 percent. so like i said 12 percent is the the nice sweet spot you can get to before they start getting mad 
So you want you want to keep all your people happy. This is also place a towel like to look at all your your different economies, right? What's what's gaining what and what you're using too much of that kind of stuff. So if I wanted to save some money right now, I have a lot of pumping of my water so I can pull these down that I only want to use 80 percent of my water capacity. So if I go into here, it's going to show me that it went down. It was 100,000. Now it's at 80. So that's a, that's one way to, to save money as well. So the second thing that we had in there was loans. You can take loans. It's pretty easy. Um, you can pay them back whenever you want. If you take this one, I'll go ahead and take it. I can pay it back anytime I want. I would have lost money there. I do. Um, so there's your budget taxes panel. Eventually, whenever you get to a certain population, you're going to start unlocking like apartment buildings, um, large, like high density apartment buildings, high density commercial and like offices. So people that are, are smart and they've, they've been educated are going to go to these offices. So once those unlock, you can actually change those to 12 percent as well. So next thing's next, your garbage. People will start to get sick if you don't have enough garbage. So the reason why I made this over here is so I could get it away from people. I'm going to pull this out a little bit, make sure there's some water here. And we're going to put some garbage in here. So the first things you're going to do is you're going to put a landfill in. See that orange, that red, that purple bubble? That's as far as you can go. If you build in this, if you build in this purple bubble, you're polluting your residents. You're making them really sick. So if I were to put it over here where there's houses, it's going to screw everything up. So I'm going to put it right there. And while you put it there, you can see that all the light, all the roads light up green. That's going to be um, where all of your, your garbage trucks can actually get to. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down there. Eventually, you're going to, it's going to be too much and you're going to have to add more garbage facilities. So another thing I'm going to do to make my, my town a little bit more green friendly is I'm going to put a recycling center. I'm going to put a recycling center right next to it. Same thing. Um, Every one of these facilities is going to have one of these little purple bubbles or something around it to show you the vicinity of it. So there's the garbage. So the garbage looks like I need more. Uh, for some reason, it's, it's, oh no, that's a lie. I don't have any power to it. So I'm just going to take a power line and I'm just going to connect it right to the blue bubble. That's it. So it's going to give me some sort of, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give me electricity. It's going to get electricity there. Another thing you can see, I don't have any power. I don't have enough power. So I'm going to take this wind turbine and I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it right here so I don't have to do too much. It can, it's going to, not going to give me as much as power as I want, but I'm going to try and get it as far as I can here. And then over here, this is going to, so you guys notice that? Did you see that? It was re people were really mad. People were really mad that I put that there. But it didn't overlap my housing, so they'll be okay. It can overlap with your, your, your sound pollution or your noise pollution can overlap with businesses and uh, commercial as well. So another really handy part of this, I know I'm probably going really quickly, guys, um, but you guys can pause and keep catching up. Another really handy part is the panels. So if you look at the top left-hand corner, you're going to see your info panels. So right here, we already have unlocked pollution. So this is regular pollution. So I have an average of 7% ground pollution. So you want to try and do as little ground pollution as you possibly can, or even like noise pollution, any of that. So this is all eventually, oh, there we go, 7%, sorry. All right, yeah, it was 7%. So eventually I'm going to zone this to maybe something a little more eco-friendly, like forestry, that kind of stuff, but you're always going to need some sort of a little bit of industrial. And then you can tell that obviously my garbage facility is giving me more pollution. Another thing, noise pollution noise pollution is really really big so obviously industries you want to keep far away from your your residential because it's going to give a lot, a lot of noise pollution um so will so will um businesses so you can see these are going to light up a different color it's it is giving me a little bit of noise it's not that much not that much um something like this i probably should have left a little bit more um, land in between my residential and my commercial and then you can see the windmill. The windmills put off a lot of noise. Um, this is my first house and it doesn't seem too mad. So they don't seem too, too mad. That's okay. It's good. Um, happiness. You can see um, different colors, obviously. So um, 
high happiness would be green and low happiness would be red. Traffic is another thing. Traffic is a really big thing you want to keep an eye on. Um, larger roads, when we start to unlock them, will eventually um, make the traffic a little bit better. Um, but you can see that this is a little bit orange. It's upset. They're upset. This is a high traffic intersection. So when I can, I'm eventually going to upgrade that. Another one, um, you can see all of your electricity panels and your water panels up here, your happiness, that kind of stuff. So these people are starting to get a little bit upset. Um, here's your wind. Like you said, you can also click on the windmill whenever you're going to build it, and it'll show you this. Um, traffic, we got a bunch of stuff. So these, everything else will start to unlock as you go. One thing, education. So you can see that nobody in this area is educated. Nobody in this area is educated. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little elementary school down. The elementary schools don't hold a lot of kids. So you're always going to have a, like a not so big amount of, you're going to have to put elementary schools every couple of blocks, right? I'm going to put one right there. But you can see it's not going to cover too much. So let's put that there. We also uncovered a hospital, a medical clinic. I don't have money for that right now, but I'm just going to wait. We shouldn't have it too long. Let's actually speed this up. So you can speed up your time, obviously, by clicking these three little um, arrows. I believe you can also change the name of your city. Yep, yeah, right here. Enter to the duck pond, and it'll give you your population, um, a bunch of um, statistics. So that's really helpful. That's really helpful. We're almost there. We're at, uh, where's our money? Eight grand. So 10 grand to open this up. So in the future, I'm going to want to upgrade these right here. So let's go ahead and do this. So this is a six lane. You want to click on it. Right here, there's a little upgrade button. It's an explanation mark. You can click that. And you literally just click the roads. And it'll change them to six lane highways. So I have a little bit of money that I just wasted. <laughs> But I'm going to change all of my roads to six lane highways. I probably I try to do this as quickly as I possibly can to make sure that um, my city is running smoothly. I can get more people in um, and then I don't have to change them later. And then I can start putting some buildings down so you can start to build over top. Like so you just saw right there. I could upgrade those and it's going to it's going to destroy all the buildings around me, which is fine. Not the best. But you can't do that whenever you have medical stuff or any buildings that you bought. So if I were to put this down right here before I actually upgraded the road, it's not going to let me. It's not going to let me upgrade that part of the road. So then I would need to pay money to move that medical clinic down the road so I could upgrade that piece of road and then I could move it back. I would have to pay money again. But so that's why I upgraded this part of the road. So I want to put a medical clinic kind of right in the middle of all suburbia. So this is going to be my little suburbia. I'm going to put it on a main street so everybody is fine. This is exciting, guys. We got to 10,000 people. So the nice thing about 10,000 people is you can buy more land. I'm going to show you how to buy new more land. Um, we've also unlocked districts. So this is really this is really exciting. Um, and everything else you don't really need to worry about. Policies haven't been upgraded too much yet. Um, nice thing about forestry, that's a good way to get people jobs in factories without a lot of po po uh, a lot of pollution. And same with agricultural specialization. We got um, emergency services, so firefighters. We've got police departments, and we've unlocked unique buildings. So that's exciting. Exciting. So I got a big chunk of money. You're always going to get money whenever you go up to a next um, level. Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. As you can see, it's only going to cover a certain amount of parts. It's only going to cover a certain part. And then I'm going to put down a um, fire hall. And then when I get the money, I'm going to put a police station. So these are just really tiny ones. They're like medical clinics, little like local um, fire departments. They're not very big. Once you start to unlock more people, you're going to get huge hospitals and huge fire departments, which are going to cover larger areas. But you got to get there. So let's, uh, let's speed this up again. While we're waiting for that money, let's start zoning. So really cool thing is before you pick your land in the loading screen, you can see um, different 
different agricultural and different resources. So you're going to see that you have got lots of coal. You're going to see that you got, you know, 80% land, um, like land space so you can build that kind of stuff. So you would have some sort of idea what you're looking at before you start building. But this is really neat. If you go over here, your natural resources panel or your info panel, you're going to see these little, uh, I don't know if they're high rises or money. It's hard to tell. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to see this little legend right here, oil or forest and fertile land. So you guys can see that right here, I fertile land or else. I also have some over here. Oh, sorry. This is all uh, forestry. Forestry. Your fertile land is yellow. Um, and then over here, we've got some oil and stuff. So maybe I could do oil over there. Um, and then I've got a little bit of forestry right here. So what I'm going to do, first things first, is telling me that I need electricity. So let's put some more electricity in. I'm going to put one right here. It's far away. I'm actually going to put two in. I know I probably shouldn't have. It's going to waste a lot of my money. But I put two of them in there so it doesn't have to, we don't have to worry about electricity. For them. Another thing you can do is if you want more electricity is you can do coal. It's cool. Yeah, coal. Um, but you need, you, it's, it's going to pollute your town pretty, pretty well. Okay, um, let's go back to what we were doing. So let's go zone this. So first things first is I'm going to pull out this rug. Pull this out okay this is gonna be my line that i know that i can build in keep going down whoops not enough money of course so we're gonna zone it's really 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 easy to zone so you're gonna click on the districts and area right next to your um your zoning thing the first thing you're gonna see is paint districts so i'm gonna paint it right here because this is where we thought saw that our um the forestry was let's do this and then we're going to go into our second panel and you're going to see there's a little forestry industry. You're literally just going to click it. You're going to click that and it's going to make sure that it's all forestry. So in the meantime, we're going to paint it in and let people come in with all their forestry. Forestry I really like because it doesn't use a lot of, um, it doesn't admit a lot of pollution. You also want to make sure that you have enough electricity and enough water everywhere. So there we go. So we're just gonna watch people start to build here. But after a while, you're gonna notice that it's actually not gonna, it's not gonna emit a lot of pollution. Um, but because it is so close over here, it might, it might. So it looks like we still need a lot more energy. So let's keep building some more energy. I'm gonna put it down here as well. I'm gonna keep it all by the, windmills and everywhere that's not i'm gonna keep it by all my electricity and all my 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 noise pollution around the same area that's usually what i do um sometimes if there's a hill i'll keep them on top of the hill that kind of stuff so everything's connected and we're still losing a lot of energy also another thing is you can see that this is flashing so you're gonna see that there's um these burglar people crime rate is high and if you look at this one Prime rate is really, really high. So we want to try and get up to a police station as quick as we can. At this point, you could take a loan as well. You could take a loan. I always try to make sure that I have those, my, my four things, or my, uh, yeah, I guess my four or five things. Make sure you have your garbage first. Then you want to make sure you have your hospital, your police, and your firefighting, and your schools. Those are the five things you want to make sure you always have. So I'm just, I don't want to go too far into the game. I know it's looking like it's trying to say that I need a lot of residential people. So we're going to see, maybe let's pull this out a little bit. I'm going to make this a regular road. Okay. Regular road this way. So it looked like it cut off my electricity. So I want to make sure that I add this quickly because that was all of my electricity. Okay. Add some more green in here. Some here i need a ton of residential guys so it's going to cover this notice it's starting to delete all my power lines so i just want to make sure i add those back in there we go what i could do is i could have waited i could have waited and um eventually this would all fill in so because we're so close to the power lines i want to make sure that my people aren't going to get sick so i'm going to make sure i undo this and undo this and then i'm going to make these like a park or something 
Maybe I have parks yet. So parks will make sure that your people are really happy. I have them unlocked. No. So parks over here. Looks like I need um, a population of 16,000. That's how you keep your people really, really happy is parks. That's one thing to know. Um, you want to keep an eye on all your panels. So right now it looks like my garbage. I need more garbage facilities, but that's okay because I really, really, really need this police system or this police. So let's put this right here. Right there. Oh, right there. So I did just put it over top of a house. It's just going to delete the house. But you guys can see everything's starting to go down. But this, it didn't connect over here. So I'm going to see if I can maybe connect this road to this one and it'll help spread all of the um, services. Let's see. See, it totally did. So because I connected those two roads, it's going to, it's going to make sure that there is more availability for um, all of your, your police, your fire, your medical, that kind of stuff. You can see in there, it's starting to, it's starting to right around here, not spread so easy. Now you can tell over here, I have nothing over here, nothing. I have no uh, emergency services whatsoever, um, but you really need those. You really, really need those. So the first thing I'm going to put is my, um, my fire station, my firehouse. So we're going to wait. We're actually making money. We're not in the green anymore, which is really, really good. Really good. Oops, this goes quick. In the meantime, everything else looks okay. Let's check our, our electricity. We're going to need some electricity some more. You can see the availability is going down. Um, water looks like it's okay. And I, you know what? I even have my water turned down in my, my budget panel. So I could actually turn that back up eventually. I don't need to right now, but it's probably what's actually making me some money. Um, let's look over here. As you can see, this is all forestry. So they're starting to move in and like build their own forests and stuff like that, which is really cool. Also, I didn't see this before, but this is like an old ruin. That's really cool. Sometimes you'll find that in, in the game, old ruins. Um, if you guys are curious, um, you can delete all these rocks. You just see the bulldozer. You can pretty much delete anything. You can pretty much delete anything. So these were in my way. Oh, this one can you do not delete? This is weird. Can't delete these ones. Okay, that's fine. So it looks like we don't have enough workers over here. That's what it looks like. So you click on that. Yeah, not enough workers. So... We need to do is we need to get some more residential in. So what I'm gonna do, this is our line, right? I'm gonna continue it. At least know where it is. I know I shouldn't be doing that, but eventually this is gonna be a road, so I'm gonna connect. Did you guys see that? It said space already occupied. It won't let me it won't let me build right here because let's see. I have a firehouse. So I'm going to move the firehouse a little bit over so I can actually pull out this road. Here. This. You don't have to create your towns like I do. I am very not creative when it comes to my towns. Sometimes I am. Sometimes I am. Um, if you guys are curious on how do you make round roads and stuff, um, if you look down here, straight, straight road, curved road, freeform road. So if you want to do a freeform road, you start there and then you just start curving. Every time you click, it's going to create another curve. Now, if you feel like you've messed up because, and you don't, if you feel like you messed up and you need that money back, if you, if you delete it right away, you're going to get that money back. If you wait five minutes, you're not going to get that money back. So yeah, that's a fun way to do things. Um, if you guys are having a hard time controlling traffic, eventually you're going to start to unlock roundabouts. Roundabouts help control traffic really, really well because they keep things flowing. Um, oh, um, to go underground, you literally just draw a road and you're going to go page down. And that's going to get you underneath the city. Let's do this. Oh, not enough money. Page up, we'll get you the ramp up. So you guys can see there's an underground everything. You, that's how you do underground metros, underground, um, underground metros, 
underground roads, underground bike paths, all that kind of stuff. And if you need to go back underneath the ground, you literally go down. And that's exactly how you draw, you do bridges as well. You start off building a bridge and you go up. So if I go up, it's going to give me a little bit of a bridge. And if I can go up a couple of more times, it's going to give me a higher bridge. So I'll show it to you. Give me a second. So that's how you bring, build bridges. So page up, page down will get you to go um, up in the sky or down below into the ground. That's really handy. Um, so I need to zone a couple more things right here. A couple more things, but you know what I need to make sure I have? But I have electricity and I have some water. So I know that I did not have any water. So I'm going to down. Or plumbing, whatever you want to call it. So you just need to make sure that your plumbing is overlapping. That's it. So that's fine right there. My electricity, I don't have a lot of electricity, but I do have money for wind turbines. So I'm going to make another one over here. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it away, as far away from my residential as I possibly can. There we go, guys. So I got to another tiny town, um, which is exciting. Um, let me see what else we have. We got parks and plazas. We got uh, park areas, parks and plazas plazas landscaping so you can terraform your land if there's like a giant hill you can like completely flatten it which is really cool um event policies you've got the football stadium which will bring you a lot of money it's twenty thousand people it's twenty thousand two hundred thousand dollars but it'll get you so much money so much money so there's a lot of different new policies you can do there's new roads which is really cool a bunch of other stuff so what i wanted to show you was your parks these aren't my parts. These are your bike paths. So bike paths are really, really fun. I usually make sure the bike paths go right around my city. So, um, sometimes what I do is I will make a little like tunnel and go to another subdivision. So this is going underneath. Um, it's a little tunnel and it's going up and it's, there we go. So I'm connecting like all these little subdivisions. I like to do that really like to do that uh let's that didn't work the bike paths are not the easiest to get to the roads they're kind of a pain in the butt they don't go right there but if you go close to it it'll connect it see connected it so i like to do bike paths a lot of bike paths um bike paths are really good for controlling all of your traffic as well so if you go into your policies you're eventually going to be able to see that it is going to um you can go to city planning and it's going to show you that you can click on encourage bicycle that'll help with your traffic um there's a bunch of different stuff look like it just unlocked build a library a high school so let's build a high school in here somewhere as you can tell the 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 high school it went a little bit further than the elementary school a little bit a little bit more uh but yeah you, you as you start to get higher and higher in population you're gonna start to unlock things um, so you always want to make sure that you have all your essential services over here as well. I don't have any money for those yet, but that's okay. That's okay. We're not going to do those yet. Parks. Parks is what you want to do. So parks is in your parks and plazas uh, little icon down here. It's a little horse. Guy on a horse. Click on your, your plazas. So there's different ones. Small parks, small playground, large park. There's a dog park. There's like a bouncy castle. There's some really random stuff in here. You want to click one of those and you want so as you can see all of my residential is like really bad so i'm going to kick a pick a big park and i'm going to put it right there it's going to get rid of some of those houses but those people are going to be so happy so i'm going to put another park like uh right let me see small park let's put a small park right there and then i don't have enough money yet but let's watch our happiness see look how happy these people already are they're happy because we put in two parks. That's it. Just two parks. So your happiness is going to go up a lot quicker. A lot quicker. Um, a neat little thing is sometimes I will put like little like corner stores and little subdivisions. That helps. Um, sometimes I'll just put them like, you know, over here because they'll be like, hey, we need some stores over here too. That helps. Um, what I do... if a lot of the time is I will connect my bike paths to my industries. A lot of people will use those. A lot of people will use those. 
So guys, there's so many different things you can do with City Skylines. I really hope that you guys are learning some things. But you need to learn how to buy more area. You go over to the little globe right here and you click on that. And you can, you can actually just hover over. If you click on them, you can actually see how much they're going to cost or what it's suitable for, if there's water, if there's anything like that. So um, as you can see, there's a lot of poop right here. I don't like a lot of my land to have a lot of poop. So sometimes I will buy the land right below it so I can move the, the poop chute down here. That kind of stuff. Um, sometimes I'll buy this land so I can um, connect my industry straight to the highway, which will leave my, all my roads um, less jammed because they're only going to use the on ramps and on ramps for um, industry. Um, we have roundabouts unlocked. Roundabouts are really, really, really handy because um, they they direct traffic. Really well. So let me see how much this is. Do I have enough money? This is two. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit more money and I'll show you how to do a roundabout really quickly. I usually go for the large roundabouts. I find that the large roundabouts are a lot better. Um, also these, um, these are just in different intersections. Um, this would be one right here. This one right here is this one. Um, this one would give you like a full on, on ramp, off ramp, everything. Okay. So it looks like we got a decent amount of money. So I'm going to pause the game. And I'm going to get rid of some of this. Okay. I'll put a roundabout down. So I, like I said, I love roundabouts. I don't care where I usually put them. Like the, the ex exits, because I always delete the exit. I always delete the exit. That's just me. Um, I should do some really, like, a lot higher, like, larger roads, but that's okay. They're going to connect these. Say if you connect them and you don't have the right direction, you can just click on this and then just right click and it'll change directions. So there's an, there is a roundabout. I want to connect my roundabout. Like, nope, can't do that. Well, I need a smaller road. Base already occupied. Is it because I have a BY? No, nope, that doesn't work, seem to work. Sometimes it is just a trial and error, right? Here we go. So this should hopefully connect the traffic a little bit better. I want to make sure I put those back in, though. Let's go ahead and watch this. Hopefully our traffic should be okay. I'm going to see if I can upgrade this to actually this type of road. Yeah, I can. So you just click on those to upgrade the roads. I should have done this a lot smoother, but you can see there's, you can see that there's no, there's no traffic jams anymore. There's nothing. And there's a little bit right there, but it's actually working really well. Oh, I forgot about, this is, so you can see right here, this is our uh, bike path, bike path. So yeah, you guys, you guys get the point. Um, if there's anything else you guys want to help with, let me know. I can do a two part of this. Um, if you guys want more, please, please, please let me know, guys. Um, like I said, I know this game inside and out. It is my favorite game, so I could teach you so much about it. Um, if you guys, like I said, if you want to know more, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you're having fun. And I'll see you next time.